Why, hello there, friends. It is a beautiful February afternoon here in Minnesota. It is negative five degrees, and we have a fresh coat of snow on the ground. This video, I'm going to show you how I store all of my gear. Now, this video isn't uh, going to be have the production value that you're used to seeing in most of my videos. It's a really behind-the-scenes look at how I store all of my gear when I'm not backpacking. And oh, by the way, that is not backpacking gear. That's my hot tub. This is my shed where all my gear is. Let's go take a look. Hello friends, Jeremy with Midwest Backpacker. Hey, if you like backpacking, outdoor adventures, and gear videos, you are on the right channel. Hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. Let's go in and see my gear. Let's go inside. So this is my shed. It is a 10 by 20 shed. This specific room is 10 by 14 feet. I have another section of the shed. But this is all heated insulated i have it wired for cable i have ethernet coming out here and internet i don't know who that fool is but this shed serves very a lot of functions here this shed serves as my office working uh remotely during the pandemic here i've been working at this desk for over two years now. Uh, you've probably seen me shoot some videos in here uh, and it also serves as gear storage. So it is heated. Um, I have all sorts of luxuries out here. Uh, you can see that right now it's 75 degrees in here. Um, and I have a refrigerator and freezer here. What do we got in the freezer? Oh yeah, we got some lunches. Not a whole lot in the fridge. Uh, so I have internet, uh, Wi-Fi. I have, I'm not gonna say her name, but then I have cable box, 55 inch color TV, pizza cooker. You can make all sorts of good things out of pizza cooker. Uh, you can see I have some sound uh, treatment over here to keep things from being echoey. Um, and you might be wondering, what are these for? I got one here, one there. You can see one over here, one over there. I can actually hang two hammocks in here. So I slept in here when I'm in the doghouse or uh, just hanging out. So, all right, more over here. This is the pee bucket, garbage, uh, all sorts of stuff for making my breakfast in here. You'll see I have an egg cooker here and Every morning when I work out here, I make some eggs with uh, some beef sticks and some cheese and some orange juice. It's delicious. All sorts of beef sticks over here. Got a peak refuel, some potatoes, some split peanut butter and jelly packets for backpacking. Uh, you can see I have a couple lights over here for when I do videos. Uh, and I have a cabinet over here. Mostly uh, audio stuff in there with some microphones and microphone arms and all sorts of electronics and cords. All right, let's get into the backpacking gear. You, you can see over here I have all sorts of backpacks hung up, uh, starting with the biggest one down here, my Deuter 65 plus 10. So it's a uh, 75 liter pack. Um, Actually, underneath that, I have a, the same thing but smaller, 40 plus 10. A little day pack here. Z, Z packs are called <laughs> smaller Waymark through. It's a 40 liter backpack. I haven't really used that a whole lot. I'm looking forward to getting that out on the trail this summer when I can have a smaller backpack. And uh, my light AF. Curve 40, uh, Dyneema backpack, I should say the Waymark is Eco Pack, uh, and hanging off of my uh, 
my Light AF is a uh, fanny pack here that I use, just the normal fanny pack, and I just bought the XL fanny pack here that I'm looking forward to using. Got a little map here of the uh, South Dakota Centennial Trail that I through hiked last year. You may be wondering, why is there this metal sheeting on the side of the wall? Well, when I hang my, my uh, Ridge Runner in here that has uh, spreader bars, when I get up out of my hammock, the spreader guard goes right into the sheetrock. So that's to pr protect the wall there. So uh, you can see I have a little folding table set up in here. And that is my staging area for when I go on trips. So I can grab all of my gear here, set up my backpack, you know, get everything set up using this table, using this little counter I have over here, and uh, it works out really well. So let's hop into what I have out here for my gear. Uh, we gotta slide the table out of here, way up here. Where little short guys like Miyagi and uh, Rob can't reach it, I have all these totes. So anytime I say bin or tote, Miyagi and I joke that you gotta say drink because we love our organization and our bins drink. Um, so in this first bin, drink. Um, all sorts of winter stuff with uh, thermos insulated mug frying pan and a little bowl and another little pot. Let's go up here. The next bin drink is uh, more down. So in here, I specifically have down socks, uh, down inflatable pillow, uh, a Nemo tensor uh, sleeping, inflatable sleeping pad, Z, a Z seat, and an X-Ped uh, pillow. All right, keep moving. Keep it moving. Next, Ben drink. Boy, you're gonna be feeling good with all these drinks. This is my uh, Warbonnet Outdoors Mountain Fly, Rain Fly for my hammock. And I sewed this Dyneema stuff sack for it. Also in a Dyneema stuff sack that I sewed is my Ridge Runner hammock. This is my chair, Chair Zero, and it's inside of a bag made by Hilltop Packs, it's Dyneema. And uh, it's really nice to have waterproof bags for your chair, which it does not come with. Uh, there is a little mat for setting the chair on as well as my uh, Z-Pax Duplex uh, Ultra Lightweight Hiking Pole Tent. Keep it moving. This bin, I'm not gonna open it. I guess I am. Uh, has a wool blanket and a wool head box that I made uh, for camping in the winter. Not gonna open this one, but this is my um, REI Magma 850 down puffy with a hood that you've probably seen in almost every video. Let's go back up here into the territory that Rob and Miyagi will never get into because they're too short. Uh, this has, you'll see here, rain gear. So in my rain gear bin drink, um, I have my uh, under quilt protector. I have my REI rain pants. I have my Enlightened Equipment Visp rain coat, as well as my old uh, outdoor research uh, rain coat that doesn't work very well. Six Moon Designs uh, ultra lightweight umbrella. And I have a rain skirt, uh, rain kilt. I can't remember who it's from. Um, all sorts of stuff. So let's keep it moving. I'm not going to open this one, but you'll see here I have Costco quilts in there. I have a top quilt, um, 
that I cut apart actually, but I do have my down Costco under quilt that I use. I would rate, rate it as probably a 40 degree quilt. The next bin here is my gloves and mittens. It's ridiculous because I don't know what I'm doing for gloves. Got some insulated wool or uh, leather gloves. I have some REI um, rain cover gloves. They're mittens you put over gloves. Uh, some ice armor, big heavy mittens here. Some possum down uh, inner gloves. These, these, these are fabulous. I haven't worn them yet uh, out on the trail, but Miyagi put me onto these. Look at these. They're small little waterproof gloves and these will be perfect when I go down to the Washita Trail uh, in a few weeks when it's, I don't know, like 40 degrees and cold and rainy. Uh, these will keep my hands warm, hopefully. All right, keep it moving. Some big, thick, heavy wool, wool socks for the winter camping, balaclava, uh, goggles, more mittens, more mittens. Seriously, I got lots of gloves and mittens. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, here is uh, my mucklucks and some more winter socks and gloves. Uh, the wool liners for the mucklucks and uh, the waterproof spray is also in there. I have another cheap down uh, jacket over here. Let's go down below here. I have a lot of bins and I have a lot of stickers on my bins like Mr. Rob Pelton, who I believe is on my TV right now. Um, Light AF, backpacking with Buckley. All right, over here, this is a nutrient survival. Uh, they sent me some free samples in the, this cool metal box, microphone for doing videos, hatchet knives, uh, mat to put underneath my hammock. Down below it here, three shelves, or three drawers, uh, there is a cooling rack right here uh, that I use for grilling when I'm scattered site camping and there is no uh, fire grate. Ditty bag. So there's all sorts of crap in here. Salt sticks, body glide, earplugs, feeding pads, spikes, stickers, bear line, all sorts of junk. Ooh, fire in the hole. Bags, food bags from Hilltop Packs, dual pocket, uh, dual pocket gadget bag from Hilltop, stuff sacks, all sorts of bags, bags, and more bags. Here I have uh, a lot of my food, whether it be trail mix, hot chocolate, spicy ramen, a bunch of green belly meals, um, strudels. Freezer bags, more bags, Swedish fish, all sorts of food there. Over here, more uh, jumbo Ziplocs, sewing machine, briefcase. All right, socks and buffs. So, uh, I want to show you this a little bit more because I want to talk about a couple of these. Uh, fleece balaclava. Man, a lot of people comment on this on my video. It is as comfortable as it looks. Thick, heavy socks. My wool wristies. People have asked me to do a video on how to make these. It's not really that hard, people. It's a sock that is cut on the end. And a, a thumb hole. That's all there is to it. Sock liners. I swear by them. Help prevent blisters. Uh, uh, wool, smart wool buff, merino, uh, darn tough socks, swear by them. These I'm still learning to like, but I am going to pack them when I go down to Washington Trail. Waterproof socks. If it's cold out 
and wet, uh, they are definitely very nice to have. All right, enough of the socks. Maps, guidebooks. We'll just peek in there. We have Boundary Waters maps, guidebooks for the Colorado Trail, for your hiking trail, all sorts of things. Sewing and material. Scary looking guy. So in there, obviously, it's uh, scissors and uh, various uh, scraps that I have, uh, straps, um, material, whether that be Dyneema or, or something else. Fuel and stoves, hilltop packs, support the uh, Spirit Hiking Trail. Uh, okay, so I have uh, both the canister stove and in here is actually my 500 uh, milliliter Tokes pot. Inside of there is my alcohol stove. Uh, I have various little bottles for putting the alcohol in. Uh, and all I buy is uh, denatured alcohol poured into the plastic box. Water filters, water bottles. Sawyer Squeeze, uh, Canuck, I don't know what it is. A uh, water bag, a bunch of smart water bottles. Uh, I don't know where. All right, steaks. I don't know how room here. Got a Dyneema steak bag. Some uh, MSR mini groundhogs. Big groundhogs. These are snow spikes. So you bury these in the snow uh, and tie out to them, as well as some cheap steaks. And these, my friends, i.e. Uh, close circuit to Shill Brothers, when you go camping and the ground is frozen, these are gonna break or bend. Get a big nail. This is like an eight inch nail from the uh, uh, Menards here. So that's what you use ground is frozen and there isn't much snow. And finally, in this row, I have electronics, outdoor beards, garage grown gear. In here, this is probably the messiest tote of all of them. You know, I've got tripods, inReach mini, thing for connecting the phone onto the tripod. Headlamp, all sorts of uh, anchor power banks, uh, thermometer, uh, scale here for weighing the pack. Just going to show you and uh, my Knox Gear 39G uh, Bluetooth speaker, extra pair of glasses, all sorts of good stuff. Way down here in the corner is uh, the, the bag that I keep my uh, spreader bars, both for my tarp, for my hammock. Uh, it also has uh, stakes that I'm going to bring out uh, on that trip, uh, a pocket for those, and uh, a little lines for my doors for my rain fly. Bottom row, we're getting there. So I have... Oh, six of these 15-gallon totes and bins drink. Um, you can see I have all sorts of stickers on them, and each of them is labeled. This is my 40-degree hammock gear top quilt, you know, 20-degree local Libre under quilt, zero-degree hammock gear top quilt, Minus 20 degree local Libre under quilt. Uh, 20 degree UGQ top quilt, as well as what does that one say? 20 degree hammock gear top quilt. So I have two, two 20 degree top quilts. This is a legitimate 20 degree, and this is probably a 30 degree for hammock gear. So a lot of you are probably questioning that I store my quilts inside of a tote. Well, 
this room being 10 by 14, I don't have enough room to hang, I don't know, six, eight quilts up. They just take up the whole room. So I want to show you, again, this is a 15 gallon tote. So if you look in here, the down is not compressed. These are big enough where I can put them in there and it doesn't compress the down and it isn't damaging the down. So, uh, and I also, I'm very careful that there is no moisture in these totes. So when I go home from a trip, even if I think that my quilt is dry, it sits out for like a week out here in, you know, 70 some degrees. So it works out really well. Um, you probably are wondering where is my winter camping stuff? Where, where's your pulk? Where are some of those other things? Well, I don't keep them out here because there isn't enough room. I keep them in my garage. Let's go take a look. Okay, this is the attic in my garage. This is where I used to store all of my backpacking gear prior to doing the upgrade. And you gotta watch your head up here because it's a tetanus shot waiting to happen. All right, there's my pulk. There's my big duffel bag for in my pulk. You see I have a vacuum sealer over here. An old tent that I borrow to people when they come camp with me, zero degree sleeping bag. Um, an ax there. Uh, we have a couple pads. Uh, my cot right there. Shovel, snowshoes. Uh, heavier chair that I use in the winter as well as my Reflectix insulation and a tarp. So that's all my gear. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe. Punch that bell notification. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Facebook. Check out the Merchant Teespring. Until next time, friends, we'll see you out on the trail. Ah.